Hi everybody, Brian Engelman with the New American Media. We are at the Warwick Station with Andy Irvine. Andy, hello, thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Happy so, to have you here. Yeah, happy to be had here. That was weird. Okay, so we were walking past and we saw these and said, hang on, I gotta go find the guy that can explain them. So let's take a look. Okay, Warwick every year puts out a limited edition Bass, okay, it's a it's a it's a limited run. It's a very special instrument. It's a custom instrument, one of a kind. And then we make a limited run, usually a hundred pieces. Oh, 100. So, yeah. So this year we're offering the 2016 limited edition, which is in a Corvette body shape. It has a beautiful uh, black walnut burl top and matching headstock, and the black Carina body on the back. Woo. Man, is that gorgeous. Yeah, it, it, it's a wonderful instrument. And it has something that's a little bit unusual. Um, we, we try and do something that we've never done before on each of the on each of these um, uh, limited edition instruments. So, so it's a chance to innovate and it's an expectation from the company, push the boundary. And, and what we did this year was we have Nordstrand pickups in it, okay? So we have the single J in the front and then the Nordstrand big man in the back. And then a really nice, uh, preamp. I won't go into all the details of the preamp, but it's, it's it's really excellent. And the other thing I wanted to tell you about is the matching uh, block inlays, the the walnut burl uh, block inlays match. So it comes in the four and the five string. We're going to make a hundred pieces of each. It's a very special one. Um, they, coming they over here, artists. real quick, I want to show you the star bass has been a real popular instrument for for Warwick in recent years. It's a reissue of, a, of an old Framus bass from the from the '60s but it's been updated with all the modern technology. It's a semi-hollow body instrument. And they, right, so, so it's a little bit like the old 30s or 40s pickup chuck that I'm looking at, but I'd love to have internal, like all the engine parts upgraded, yeah, with, full surround sound. Super Vortec, you know, exactly. high, high velocity engine in it, you know. Keep the style, improve the functionality. Yeah, exactly, and, and, that, and that's a great way to put it. Uh, but this one, now we're offering it in a short and a medium scale. Players are getting, starting to get back into short scale basses. So now we offer it in that. That's new for this year. Oh, okay. uh, come on, let's go over here. Okay, we're very proud that now we have Rex Brown. And look who's here, Rex Brown. How are you? Hello, Rex. Rex is one of our signature uh, endorsing artists and this is his signature series instrument that we are uh, un un unveiling this year at the 2016 NAMM show. It's a reverso. Uh, to, built to Rex's exact specs, everything that he wanted. It has the aluminum uh, block inlays with the skull, of course his signature, and the quilted maple top EMG pickups. And uh, how do you and like it? Rocks. it? And it rocks. So that we're, Warwick, we're, very, we're very proud to have Rex with us. He's a, a legend. We're the family now. He's it's a legend. wonderful. Well, what, do you, what do you like about this model? Why did you pick the things? Andy up? and I, I went to the factory in February last year. Make two weeks after I met these guys, that was one of the first bases I picked up off the wall, just for the grins, just to see what it sounded like. Right. And so we kept fucking with it. It sounded better than probably any, or closer to what I wanted than anything we had picked up. So this thing, I mean, the, the laminates on it, I mean, three piece just, it just warm. At the same time, you'd think it'd be heavy. It's lighter than hell. Uh, Got all the wings, you know, it's perfect. Exactly what I'm, exactly what I wanted. It's got to be great having your own signature line. What's that feel like? And yeah, well, it feels amazing. Uh, you know, I was with another company for years, and it was fun, and, and uh, now it's going to be even better. Nice. We got about three more coming. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. Thank and, you. you. Know, let's go over here while we're at it. Okay. We also offer the Rex Brown in the artist line, which is uh, uh, to the consumer at a little bit more of an affordable price range. So we have this base, which is uh, imported from our Chinese um, supplier, and it's the basically the same specs, but just at a more affordable price to the consumer because it's an import. It's not handmade in our in our German factory. So okay, so it's not handmade in the German factory. It's very similar to that one, right. but for the high school kid that has a birthday for coming up, five percent is much money. What what is the price point on this? This one. Uh, I think it's about seventeen hundred dollars, okay. and that one's about six thousand dollars. About twenty-five percent, give or take. Give yeah, or give take. take. All right, let's come on over here. There's a couple other ones I want to show you guys. All right. 
Another one of our uh, premier signature artists is Mr. Stu Ham. Uh, in the world of bass, he's one of the biggest uh, legends in bass, Stu Ham. Now, is Stu going to pop out of the door as well? I don't know, but wouldn't that be cool? The timing of the, timing of the last thing couldn't have been better. <laughs> but anyways, this is his new uh, signature instrument. And again, he, had a, he has a different ideas of what he likes and what he needs and what he wants. So we adapted the streamer body style to give it this longer horn that he liked up on top. It's a, it, was a, it was for him for, for a balance thing that he wanted. And he has the uh, scooped out bridge and EMG electronics and a special neck profile that he likes. So again, this is a brand new one. We're unveiling the Stu Ham signature. Peter Baltus, bass player from Accept. He, like that. yeah, that's a kill switch. It just, it just turns on and off. That's the only switch. <laughs> glows in the dark. This whole area is luminescent and glows in the dark with the skull. Has the EMG pickups. He wanted a, he wanted a Mad Max kind of. Post uh, yeah. So this is got the big gouges in it, you know, and it's right up my alley. And look here. It's a spark plug. <laughs> huh? So, so you're turning. It's it's more a piece of art, hence up on a frame on a wall. That's a great way to put it. It is art. They're all they're all art pieces, really. And the last one I want to show you today. This is one of the ones that we're maybe the most proud of. This is a version of the Starbase. Uh, we talked about the Starbase at the beginning. <clears throat> This is the Lee Sklar signature. Lee Sklar is the most recorded electric bass player of all time. You know Lee Sklar, the guy with the big beard. He's played on so many albums. And uh, we adapted the Star bass to, to give him what he needed. This particular, one of the main things that he wanted is he wanted this bevel here to, to make it more comfortable for his arm. So we scooped this area out here. Okay. <clears throat> and then this is an ebony fingerboard. But it, it uses the entire ebony, not just the dark part, it uses the sapwood too. So it's got this two-tone mahogany body, sides. Yeah, a lot of different styles on that, a lot of different texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just a few of the things. Another thing I want to mention to you real quick, and this is for the players, Warwick is a very prestigious brand. They carry a very... Um, steep price tag the, the well, and, and like I was saying I was saying to you before one of my buddies just bringing this up in a you know in a conversation on Facebook saying yeah Warwick's great if you can afford it meaning it's high quality stuff it's the top of the line I mean every every aspect of the German handcrafted instruments is at the absolute top of, of, of the of the possibility of craftsmanship but what we've done is we've offered the German Pro Series, which is a much more affordable. These instruments are coming to players from the 1399 to 1999 range, under 2000, over 1000, but under 2000. And we have streamers, Corvettes, um, star basses, and, and, uh, and thumb basses, all within the new German Pro Series line. These are more affordable, but they're all made in Germany using the same woods and the same materials and the same technology. But they have a much more simple finishes. They don't have these high polish, um, really difficult finishes. They just have like a basic oil finish. And that enables us to bring them to players at a more affordable price. And so you're keeping the quality of the gear. You're just scaling back the bells and whistles and the, the shininess and the sparkliness of it. Yes. So you could say that the German Pro Series is the new Warwick standard the standard um, model, okay? Okay, so, so that series is kind of the standard. This is the the, the platinum series, if you, you will. You betcha, you could look at it just like that. Okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, for sure, The uh, I encourage everybody to check out the new German Pro Series. And of course, you know, if you can dream it, we can build it. Oh, so custom. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's nothing that's not possible um, in our custom shop. We'll literally try and do anything if you got the bread. <laughs> yeah, if you got the scratch, uh, we got the itch. No, that's cool. Tell, them, tell everybody where they can find more information. Uh, you can go to our website, www.warwick.de, and check us out. .de? Yeah, Deutschland, D-E. Deutschland. Yeah, and uh, you know, you can go there, and you can um, check us out on social media. You know, check us out on Facebook, and check us out on Twitter. Uh, I'm a product specialist. I have a pretty 
broad reach with what I do. You know, you can look me up on YouTube, Andy Irvine, and um, you can always find, find us if you're looking for us. Very nice. Andy, thank you so much for your time. Check out Warwick.